Good morning. Doing a quick mic test. I'm gonna try again real quick. Good morning. I think we have some volume. We have a couple of minutes before we get going, so nice amount of time to roll out your mat and get settled in. But we are going to begin standing today if you wanted to head that way, and we probably have a minute or two before we get going. So as you roll out your mat, you can use this time to invite in some movement or to Set up your space, get anything you may want nearby, or maybe just quieting the mind, making the start of the practice whatever you want it to be. Maybe a minute or less at this point, we're starting to make our way to that standing position. Probably somewhere in the front third of your mat. I'm going to stand back just a little bit so I don't whack my hands on anything above me. And as you start to make your way to that standing posture, we'll put the feet about hip width distance apart. Settling in, let the feet really ground down. Build that foundation, all four corners of the feet touching, the toes connected with the mat. Draw awareness up through the ankles, the calves, the knees. Keep them a little soft. The thighs, the hips low back, belly, chest, upper back and shoulders, the arms, wrists and hands. Maybe a little tuck of the chin as you let the spine reach tall, the crown of the head reaching up and find yourself in a Tadasana. Focus forward, strong and steady. Allow the breath to deepen. Nice full inhales and exhales. And try to keep this nice full breath as we move into the practice. Inhaling the arms up. And exhaling hands to heart center. Nice big inhale as we scoop the air around us. Reach the arms out and then up. Exhale as we bring the hands down, palms together. Big inhale, we reach. Notice the shoulders. Exhale, hands to heart center. We'll pause here and let the head drop to the left. Left ear journeying toward left shoulder. And then bring the head to center and opposite side, right ear to right shoulder. Hands remain in front of us. Back to center. We'll turn the head to look over the left shoulder. Take a breath. And then the right, turning that way. 
Take a breath. Back to center, release the hands. We'll bring right hand to right hip. Inhale up the left arm, find that extension. And then exhale as you take it over, start to shift the hip to the left, or shift the weight to the left foot. Left hip presses out. Keep the heart open to the wall in front of you. We'll ease through the shoulder and upper arm. Inhale to center, exhale, left hand to left hip. Inhale up the right, find that nice extension. Exhale as you take it over. Press out through that right hip. Most of the weight is in the right foot. Feel the breath in the ribs. Release through the neck. We'll inhale up. Exhale the right hand down. We'll take the feet a little wider, maybe to the edges of the mat. Keep the ankles and knees and hips a little soft here as we bring the arms down loose at our side. And then start to twist. Just letting the arms kind of flop about. They'll start to swing, providing that nice little knock on the body. You can keep the feet flat here and just those loose knees and hips. Or you can lift onto the ball of the foot, just stretching out that twist a little bit. Find what feels best for your body this morning. If you might feel a little silly, that's all right. If you do, just invite in a smile, a little joy. It's all right to feel silly. We'll slow it down. Coming back to center, leave the feet where they are, that nice wide spot. We'll inhale up the arm. On the exhale, take it all the way down. Finding yourself in a forward fold. The head hangs. The hands can reach to the earth. You could grab opposite elbows to hang in ragdoll. Keep a little ease at the knees. Maybe that little micro bend. Aware of how the back of the legs are feeling. The back body. You're holding elbows will release. Let the hands come back toward the earth. Soften the knees. And gently roll up. Back to our standing posture. Inhale the arms up. Exhale back to that fold. We'll take the hands over to the right knee as we invite in just a little twist, turning the torso over that leg a bit. You can hold on to the foot, the shin, the thigh. We're not really twisting too much here. We're just gently taking it to that side, and then we'll release, go to the other. And if this isn't serving you, you can just stay in that forward fold. Back to center. Strong core as we inhale up to half lift. That seven shape. Hands to shins or thighs. The gaze is at the mat. Shoulders draw back from the ears. And release. Gently roll up. We'll take a breath at the top. We find our standing pose. We'll take the feet in, finding that hip width distance, or it can be toes together, heels together. Nice big inhale. Exhale back to that forward fold. 
Inhale to half lift. Exhale as you release. We'll head to chair pose by generously bending the knees, lowering the hips, belly to thighs to start. Keep the legs where they are as you lift the heart up. Trying to find a flat back. Strong foundation. Hands can hold that big beach ball out in front of us, maybe a little like above where the gaze is, or you could have hands at heart center. On your next exhale, drop the hands, lift the hips back to forward fold. Gently roll up. Back to our standing posture. Inhale the arms. Exhale to fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, release. Generously bend the knees, lower the hips, lift the heart. Chair pose once more. Breath is steady. On your next exhale, drop the hands, lift the hips, forward fold. We'll plant the hands, step one foot back and then the others. We find ourselves in a plank. You can lower to the knees here if you like. Strong arm. Keep the elbows tight to the body as we move through chaturanga to the belly. Uncurl the toes. We'll bring hands under shoulders. Do a little bit of work here in our cobra. So with the feet connected to the mat and the hips settled, we'll inhale up chin and collarbone. A little baby cobra. So we're not putting too much weight in the hands here. Maybe you can drum out the fingers. Or float a palm and then the other. Come back. We'll exhale down. Take a breath. Put a little more weight into the hands as we inhale up chin, collarbone, maybe a rib or two. Lower down. We'll take the hands out a little wider, maybe just beyond the edges of the mat. Pinch the fingers. Maybe elbows come up a little bit as we start to press up. And again, we're not really going all that high, that same lift, maybe a rib or two. Some more dynamic arms here. We'll lower it down. Nice work. And then you have some options. You can leave the hands where they are. You could take them out in front of you a little bit more. Or you could have them back under the shoulders, beside the chest, as we head to whichever variation you like, your expression of a cobra this morning. Lifting only as high as you want. Finding a little ease in the low back as you do. You can come in and out of it as you like. And then all together we'll lower. Settle the chin. Take a breath. Bring the hands down alongside body, palms into the mat, pinkies touching the thighs. Create a nice base as you press into the palms and the hips and inhale up the right toes. The lift may be an inch, it may be a foot or more. See where you're at this morning, feeling strong. Let that leg fly. On an exhale, release the right foot down. When right toes touch, we'll inhale up the left. Aware of the subtle differences between the two sides. Meet your body where it's at today.
gently exhale the left toes down. We'll let both feet rest as we bring hands under shoulders. Press back hips to heels. Child's pose. You can do toes together, knees together, arms stretched overhead, palms in the mat. Or you could take the knees wide here. A little extra space to melt into. Keep the arms where they're at either way. In a nice little stretch through the shoulders as the hips settle toward the heel. Feel the gentle rise and fall of the body with the breath. On an inhale, we'll walk the hands toward the knees as we lift up. Come to a kneeling posture just for a second as we curl the toes. And then sit the hips back. Taking just two breaths here. Big stretch for the feet. We'll lift up. Sit down, swing the legs around however you would like as we journey to a first a seated posture and then gently lay back. Heading all the way down to the ground, the head and shoulders settle. Feel the spine long on the mat. Both feet are connected down here as we draw the right knee into the chest. That foot does come off the mat. We'll slide the left foot away. Find your half wind relieving pose. Keep the right knee where it's at as we slide the left heel back. We'll squeeze for the right knee. We send that heel high. Point the toes. We'll point and flex, maybe a wiggle, and then gently bring the right foot to the mat. We'll draw the left knee in. Keep the head and shoulders settled here. And the knee doesn't have to be super close to the body. If you find you're struggling through the arms to do so, it's all right if the knee is a little farther away. You hold behind the thigh. Again, meet your body where it's at today. We'll slide the right heel away, deepening the stretch through the hip. Find a little ease in the belly. We'll slide the right foot back. We'll squeeze for the left and then send that heel high. The sole of the foot shines to the sky. And then point the toes. We'll point and flex. Loosen it up and gently bring the left foot back to the mat. We'll leave the right foot where it is. Slide the left leg long. Heel toe the right foot over and then let that knee fall open. So the sole of the right foot is connected with the extended left leg. We're in our supine tree, our most balanced of tree poses. Nice deep hip opener. You can let the right hand rest on the inner right thigh. The extra weight deepening the stretch a little bit, or if you need a little extra support here, you could create a little kickstand with that right hand on the outer thigh. We'll take right hand to outer thigh as we lift that leg back up. Slide the left foot in. 
swapping legs. Right leg goes long. We heel toe the left foot to touch. And then let that knee fall open. Settle the shoulders. Use the exhale to invite a little more space into the hips. Allow gravity to gently pull down on that left knee. We'll take the left hand to the outer thigh as we gently help that knee back up. We'll slide the right foot in. Draw both knees into the chest nice full body hug. You could rock a little side to side here if you like. Or you could sit in stillness. Either way. If you are rocking, we'll slow it down. Settle both feet back on the mat. Left foot will stay planted as we lift up the right, cross it over. So the ankle is crossed over the thigh. Created a nice little figure four shape here. You can take, you could stay right here. This could be great for you. If you want to deepen that stretch, you'll take the right hand, weave it through that space as you draw the left leg up and in. Holding behind thigh or outside of the shin, whatever is accessible to you. Or supine pigeon. Deep hip stretch on the right side. Relax the ankles. Keep the head resting on the mat, the spine long. Hold our pigeon a little longer than our other shape. And as you hold it, you may notice the mind begin to wander away from the mat. And if it does, that's all right. Gently invite it back. Ask it to be present with you. One more breath here. We'll start to gently release our hold as the left foot returns to the mat. Pause. And then unwrap the right ankle, bringing that foot back to the mat. Taking a second here at a neutral spot. Scan the body. Feel the difference between the two sides, the sensations that you've created. We'll leave the right foot where it is as we lift the left leg up, cross the left ankle over the right thigh, again making that little figure four. You could stay right here. That may be what this side needs. Always gently press onto that leg to deepen the stretch a bit. If you'd like to dive all the way back to that supine pigeon, we'll take the left hand between that little space between the legs as we draw the right leg up and in. Low back stays connected to the mat. Nice full inhales and exhales.
Each exhale can help you dive a little deeper. Invite in a little more ease. Awareness on the left hip. Maybe you feel its connection into the rest of the body. Not struggling through the arms. A lot of little things that can draw your awareness here in the shape to help keep you present. Help keep you connected to the body. One more breath here. Gently release your hold on the right leg as that foot reconnects with the mat. And then unwind the left leg. Both feet settled. We'll draw both knees into the chest, little squeeze, and then extend the legs up. Soles of the feet shine toward the sky. Hands can come down to the mat. You could have them on the thighs for a little external support, or maybe even on the belly to connect with that breath. A little legs up the wall. From here, you have a few options. You could exhale, gently bringing the legs long on the mat, letting the arms be by your side and take a Shavasana. Or you could draw the knees in, take these fingers behind them and use a little rock to bring you up to a seated posture. Finding whichever spot you'd like to round out your practice Day. We'll bring hands together at heart center if you're in that seated posture, if you're in your Shavasana, just sweep the arms down at the side. Wherever you are, we'll close the eyes for a moment. Turn the attention in. Connect with how you're feeling physically, emotionally, where the mind is at. Occasionally, a little check in. No judgment. Just awareness, ever evolving. Quiet the mind. Let the breath. And to return to your natural rhythm. Breathe throughout the body as you further open the eyes. In Shavasana, you can stay there as long as you like. Taking a rest before beginning your day. You're rounding out your practice. If you're here, though, I encourage you to take kind thoughts, kind words, and those kind intentions with you from now until we meet again.
the light in me honors the light in you. Namaste. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me for our yoga practice this week. Thank you for the special Thursday edition. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a wonderful weekend, and I'll see you back on the mat next Tuesday. Bye, everyone.